Hello everyone, it's Hexis here. War and Order released a new update today. Beast Talents system and the Beast UI itself have undergone some big changes. Let's take a look at all of these in detail and see whether they are any good. We have a lot of things to cover, so stay with me until the end of the video so that you don't miss out on any important detail that we are going to cover in this. First of all, the Beast user interface. The whole screen looks much nicer and cleaner in now, in my opinion. And let's look at each one of the different icons and tabs they introduced now with this update. So the tab in the bottom center, Beast Training, will give us the option to upgrade and evolve our beasts from now onwards. They also added a button to use all the Beast Experience points you currently have at once. It saves a lot of time and you can also see an overview of the total beast experience that you currently have in your packs on the top there saying you used to get right now i have 117k of beast xp you can either choose to use all of it at once or keep some for doing some tasks during events so first side is the upgrade tab and then you also have the evolve tab on the right side there for me it's at maximum now so not much to see there Coming back to the UI screen, you click on that icon and then you can switch easily between the different beast skins and then use them, whichever ones that you have already unlocked. Now, when you go into the skill inventory icon, there are three different tabs here. The first one shows what you already have in your pack, all the different skills, and you can directly upgrade from here now all of your skills. So the middle tab now is the dismantle feature that they introduced in this update you can see all the different skills here and you can choose each of them and you will see on the bottom in the dismantle preview the number of beast experience skill scrolls that you can get from uh, dismantling them so at a level one full skill you get two uh, 50 skill experience scrolls it was the same before as well when you clicked on the consume skill you get 100 beast skill experience and it hasn't changed at all there is an additional feature here that you can select all your level one skills at once so that it's easier for you to dismantle all of them together just make sure that you don't accidentally destroy the skills like wounded limit which we usually keep at level one it would have been nice if they don't show here the skills which we already put into a preset the skill preset window also changed now it looks like this from which you can use your presets that you have already saved and on the small corner here with a gear symbol, you can click on it. You can use it from here to change the name of the preset. You can also choose which one you want to switch out individually and then save it. Now the tab on the lower right corner, the beast skin tab, if you click on it, you get to this screen. You can see all the different phantom talents detail from here. You can also first see the skins preview. The stats are all listed here uh, from the different skins. And you see the level of the skin as well here. So level two for the Holy Pegasus skin for me. Isol Pegasus is level four. If you click on each one of them, you go into another screen where it says if your phantom talent skill is already unlocked or not. For me, I need level five for the first star skill to be unlocked. You can see the details of how many B skins you require to upgrade it, what is the next stats that you unlock by upgrading it and so on. So for each of them, you would have these details when you click on it. And if you are super close to upgrading to a skill level that also unlocks the phantom talent, you can see that in the details here as well. You can also see on the top left corner a preview of all the beast skins. You can just click on them and then you go into the different ones. Now, finally, let's go to the Beast Talent tab, which is now showing the merged form of Blood Vessel Preview and the Talent Preview before the update. Directly from this screen, you can go into the preview of talents for each of your beasts. So we will stay at the current beast that I'm having and look at the different skills that are here. First of all, the main highlight of this update was that they changed some things about the fifth skill that is strength combo. Before the update, the skill had uh, this effect. The beast's fourth attack will launch a double strike, continuously dealing damage five times against the attack target. Each damage is 60% of your current attack. And this damage was true damage and so on and so on. And now with the update, it changed 
at level one to the beast launches the double strike every six seconds, continuously dealing damage five times against attack target. Each damage is now 21% of your current attack and it is against true damage and so on. So the change here is that instead of the beast launching it after its fourth attack, it is now fixed at six seconds. Basically, when a battle starts, the beast launches its first attack four seconds approximately after the battle starts and it attacks once every second. So according to the old skill, it would have been almost eight seconds before the battle stampede gets triggered for the first time in the battle and then every four seconds on the fourth attack of the beast. Now it activates two seconds earlier at the beginning of the battle which is good however the trigger time is fixed at six seconds instead of the four seconds earlier before the update. Moreover the damage is now almost three times less than before so let's take a battle that lasts for 30 seconds, uh, for example. The old skill would have triggered a total of six times and the new skill will now trigger only five times with less damage. So I don't think it actually increases the beast's battle ability as they claim in the patch notes. So the next point in the patch notes is that they reduced the beast elements required to upgrade some of the skills. The main skills, like the, the center skills, like Potential Awakening, Vigor Drain, battle stampede and strength combo all got some reduction in the beast element requirements along with the troops converted attack that increases the attack of your beast based on your army and also the hit points of your beast increase both of them got significant reduction as well for example at level one troops converted attack got reduced to 90 instead of the 230 before the update potential awakening level one is 310 now instead of thousand the hit points level one instead of hundred it's now 260 and the wicked drain level one 200 instead of 1055 and so on and so on i will leave a link in the description below which shows the beast elements we required to upgrade all the skills before the update so that you can convert it yourselves and if you're enjoying the video until now do remember to press that like button and subscribe a lot of effort goes into making these videos and i appreciate all your valuable support and feedback now continuing on to the hidden changes that are actually in here which is not that obvious with all these reductions being shown you needed in the past only level one of potential awakening to unlock these troops converted hp and beasts growl that increases attack and hp of your backline troops now it requires the level three of potential awakening coming down to the next one vigor drain used to be only level one required to unlock the damage increase when attacking and damage reduction skills now they need level four of vigor drain to be able to be upgraded themselves however with the increase in maximum level for these skills from five to fifteen they also got reductions in the individual levels that that is the number of beast elements that you require to upgrade from one level to the next. For example, the Wigger Drain itself, for four level upgrades, you need only a total of 860 instead of the level one that had 1055 beast elements requirements. So that got reduced. And coming down to the skills like Battle Stampede, in the past, the requirement was you need Potential Awakening at level three and Wigger Drain at level three and Beast level at 12 to unlock this skill. Now it requires the beast level 12 and both of those skills at level nine. That's another big change. And that's what they mean when they said some of the prerequisites for some beast talent skills got adjusted. And even if you want to go into this skills like Angel Rebirth, they also have now a requirement of Battle Stampede to reach level three, unlike in the past. So overall, there is a big reduction in reaching up to the strength combo skill. However, these skills are only affecting your beast. Moreover, beast talents will only take effect when the beast is with your army. So in my opinion, there are far more important skills that you can spend your beast elements on, like the damage increased when attacking or the damage reduction when defending. And finally, coming to the exciting new beast talent skills that they introduced. Let's switch to the talent preview to see them with the final level effects as well. So the first skill is called Troops Command. It increases the army size by an additional number and at maximum level of 15, it increases your army size by 8,700. Next one is Beast Mark and when attacking lords, so keep in mind it is only for attacking enemies, 
The beast applies the beast mark to your archers and mages after the battle starts, increasing their damage by 0.8% at level 1 until the battle is over and then reducing the damage taken by the beast also by 2%. So at maximum level, it applies a damage reduction to enemy archers or mages by 12% and reduces the damage taken by the beast by 30%. Then the next one is the beast coercion skill, which basically increases the damage dealt by your own archers or mages by 0.8% at level one, and it increases to 12% at level 15. And this effect is applicable until the battle is over. And this skill is also not dependent on any particular statement like only when attacking or defending, it's active all the time, as long as your beast is with your army. And then the final skill, the Beast's Rage, it is increasing your troops damage by 0.7% at level 1 and increasing up to 10.5% at level 15. Now, what are the requirements to get to this point? So you need a lot of levels to be at level 15 to be able to even start with the level 1 of Troops Command and then the lower skills here they require troops command to reach level five to start with and the final one the troops damage skill requires even more they are all super powerful skills however these requirements being so high will sadly make it not so easy for non-spenders to reach them especially with anubis tower being the only good source for beast elements for us so in conclusion the beast ui became more user-friendly the beast talent system revision it gives a reduction in earlier skill requirements which would be useful to put these beast elements into some more useful skills in the earlier levels for example there is a big difference like more than 2000 in the beast element requirement to unlock skill like the battle stampede and you would need only level one of battle stampede to go to the strength combo skill even though you require a level three for your battle stampede to even touch the angel rebirth skill so it's still impossible to get the new talent skills anytime soon for those who play the game on a budget and that's all about the latest update hope you enjoy the video see you next week with another fun topic and goodbye guys